Hello everyone, my name is Andrea and welcome to our new starter training videos. Today we'll be covering the company module and in this session we'll be creating a new company, adding a new location, adding a new contact and searching for that company. So let's begin with creating a new company record. You can simply just click the F1 function key on your keyboard. If you prefer to use the mouse, you can click the new record icon at the top and select company from the list. The first top field is for your account code. If you use Sage as your financial software system, please note that this is limited up to eight characters. The yellow box is for your company name. Through that whole of Prima, if you do see a yellow field, it is a mandatory field that does need to be completed. The company type will default to customer. However, this can be changed to prospect, a supplier, or even a mixture of both. In the contact field, enter your contact name and all other information that you have for that contact. In the address one, this is your first line of your address. And again, complete as much information as you can. To save the record, you simply click create and close. However, for this training, I am going to click create and open so that we can continue to add more contacts and locations. This is the company details record. You can see your account code at the top and the name and also the address and the contact that you previously added. Here at the top, we have the list of locations and here at the bottom, we have the list of contacts. So if you want to add a new location, you'd click in the location area. And if you want to add a new contact, you click in the contact area at the bottom. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add a new location. So simply click the one you've already got there and this new box will open up. If you want to amend any of the information in this HQ location, then feel free to make any, any more changes to it. If you want to create a new delivery location, simply click the first icon, which if you hover over it, will say new. The location code is an ID for that particular delivery location. So it can be anything that is relevant to your daily business process. So it could be a postcode, or it could be the city, or simply the name of that area. So I'm going to um, type in the city. And again, complete the first line of the address, the town and the county. And where possible, always add a postcode. To save this location, you can click save and close. Or if you want to add a new location, you can click save and new. I'm going to, for this example, going to click save and close. And click the refresh button. And you'll see in your list here, you've now got two locations. I'm going to add a contact to our Liverpool depot. So I'm going to double click in the contact list at the bottom. And using the first icon again, click new. And I'm going to add a contact. This second contact is actually based at the Liverpool branch. So I would click 
from the drop down and select the relevant location and save and select. And from this, I can also then click save and close. And if I refresh, again, you can see that we have two contacts, one in HQ and one in Liverpool. If I want to access house of this company record, I simply click the cross and that closes it down. I'm now going to search for the company I've just created. So on the left hand side, we have company and companies. This will open up the company lockup module. This box here on the top left is you can search for the account code or if you prefer the company name. Type in all the company name or ideally just part of it and click the search icon on the top and all companies beginning with ABC will be listed in the bottom. The company I've just newly created is here and I'll double click and it's now opened up. So from here I can add another location, amend my locations, add a new contact or amend a contact. Well, that's the end of the session. I hope you have found it useful. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you are notified for any new training webinars. And if you have any training requirements at all, then please contact our customer care team.